Hey, welcome to Bloss Half Weaver vs. Mother 3, part um, 68. We're going over to wait in the hot spring while they finish up recovering or doing the birdie thingy. Okay. Inside hot spring, but have coffee? Um, okay. Sure. Coffee. What's this? No one is simply born strong. People only go stronger little by little by encountering difficult situations and learning not to run from them, no matter how frightening or daunting they may be. Blah, that is exactly what you have done to go strong. However, you did not do it for yourself. You grew strong for those you would otherwise be unable to help. They are the reason you are strong. Even now, you occasionally show a glimpse of it, Blah. Fleeting images of that once pampered crybaby boy can sometimes be seen in your smile. You've come a very long way. There's no telling what to expect from here on out, but if one thing is certain, it's that those who believe in you will be right there to help. Lay better. I certainly can't beat the final boss alone. Trust in them. Now go forth toward whatever stands out the most in your eyes. Go facing not the darkness, but the light. La and his companions. You have driven the enemy into a corner. The enemy's back is to the wall. There's nothing to fear now, but fear itself. Everyone is watching on with complete faith in you, and their hearts, they all say, thank you. Can you hear them? Um, no, not really. You're... Speed up. Okay, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't help it. Hey, Mr. Saturn. I polish a dull thingy to sparkly thingy. Oh, well, that's good to know. You wound up giving your courage match badge to Mr. Saturn. I make sparkly and give back. I make sparkly. Birdie cage done. Okie dokie then. Um, can I have my courage badge, please? Leave it to me. Okay. I hope he, he doesn't end up stealing it, because that wouldn't be good. Get out of there. Flying birdie cage done. You ride flying birdie cage? Sure. I think that's pretty much what we have to do anyway. So we just hold on to this rope then. Hold it. What? Rope snake. You guys really think that cheap rope will last all the way to Tesmalu with you hanging on it? Tisk tisk tisk. Have some faith in me. I may have dislocated my jaw that last time, but I still got plenty left in me. And give me one more chance. Yes, I love the rope, Snake. That's what I'm talking about. I knew I could expect great things from you, Blah. This looks like this looks to be a manly journey through the skies. Here goes no something. <laughs> huh. Wow, I never thought that that could fly like that. Whoa, this is precarious. Don't fall. Ow, Rock, you're biting my ankle. Hold on, Rope Snake. It's not your fault, it's the cage's fault. Or the bird's fault. Wah! Huh. That's funny. Rock was on the bottom of the whole thing, and he f and he fell last. 
Well, we washed up on the beach. Yay. You bet on me, but it seems you lost, huh? Yep, I fell. As did you after you bet on me. I think that for a while I'm going to act like a fat worm and hide myself inside a hole. So don't talk to me. The heroic and cool rope snake you once knew is dead. Oh. It's high and quiet voice I say, so long. Well, at least we're out of Saturn Valley. Oh, blah. You should take a break here once in a while. A little nap in the sun will really revitalize you. Will you take a break? Oh, so that's a quick way to revitalize. You're fully revitalized. Yippee. Come back anytime. What's this? Those appear to be a pig mask's shoes. What's, what's this random arrow? I'm a not very rare imitation crab. R real crabs try to copy our taste, color, and texture, but we look just the other way. Or we just look the other way. What can't be overlooked, though, is Tane Tane Island south of here. You're headed there too, right? I pretty much knew before I even saw you. You can wait all you want, but no ship's gonna come. You gotta walk across the ocean. First talk to the sea. Get up real nice and close. And then everything will start from there. Okay, that makes sense. In a weird, demented sort of way. You better save first, though. As that motivational speech thing he said, you never know what to expect. Dive into the ocean? I'm um, sure. I guess we're swimming all the way. Wait a minute. What? Navy squeal. Okay, oxygen supply complete. Time to head for Tane Tane Island. Woo. I know they supply us with oxygen, but these machines just aren't my thing. They're really demoralizing. Really? I like them a lot. <laughs> there is tension between the duo. Okay, so apparently I have oxygen now. Ay 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 ay. Danger! Don't forget to supply yourself with oxygen while underwater. Use the oxygen supply machines efficiently and effectively. You mean this? There's an oxygen supply machine here. Um, I. Is that really a machine? Whoa! <laughs> That's a little creepy. I guess I can't run under here, though. That makes sense. I'm guessing that's a, an enemy pig mask. Yeah, I thought so. Roar! It's an. Oh yeah, that's that's right. They're called navy squeals. Yeah, even though it happened like ten seconds ago, I forgot. New. I bet they're pushovers, though, compared to my level. The Navy Squeal fired a beam. I don't know. Hey, I was right. You better surrender. 774. Look, a present. Wait a minute, is that a map? That's in a blue box. Seafloor map. Excellent. Let's see. I'll bet that it shows um, locations of diving machines or something. Or, I mean, air machines. Those are ladders. Huh. Interesting. Shows you, like, pressure or something. Ah! Run back to the machine! Um, I almost made it. Ow, oh, sorry guys. About the microphone thingy. Err, what? Well, that was brilliant of us. There just aren't enough machines. Huh. Nee. Did 
Talk about creepy. Well, I guess the only way to go is down here. Let's try it. Fish of enemy. I mean, enemy of fish. Yeah, there's two of them. A ruined fish. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna run out of time soon, so. Random gamma! Let's end this quickly. Oh no. Ow. Hurry up and cast your random law. Random gamma! Ah! Epic, but I'm out of time. Bye.